we can tell you guys is that of the four people who were hurt, including the firefighter, officials tell us they all have minor injuries, so thankfully they should survive. As for the cause of this fire, what sparked it here in this building behind me, it's still under investigation. However, neighbors tell us there have been a number of smaller electrical fires they've had to deal with recently in this building, and they think that might have played a part in tonight's. Around 5.30 at night, just as many families were finishing up dinner in Brooklyn, the top floor of this Prospect Leffers Gardens apartment building started spitting out fire. Some families didn't know they were in danger until they smelled the smoke. A lot of these smoke detectors didn't go off. A number of people were hurt, including one firefighter, but with only minor injuries. With the building on Clarkson Avenue near Bedford Avenue, the fire department says they managed to make it to this structure in just two and a half minutes flat from when they first got the call. When they arrived, firefighters said flames had already made their way into the spaces between the top floor apartments and the roof of the building, and they were spreading fast. With the fire burning on the very top of the building, it was a tough fight. Firefighters said they dragged five separate hose lines up to the top floors. They had to open up the ceiling and then were able to target the flames directly. Lots of apartments underneath were damaged from the efforts to snuff out the flames. Over here, the apartment under me, I live under the apartment, 5A. It's right. just flooded, the, you know, the, um, the ceiling is broken down, a lot of damaged stuff. Neighbors told us it was a miracle everybody was able to get out. A number of residents said this building has glaring safety problems. This is now the time for them to open their eyes. Not only this property management, but a lot all over Brooklyn. They need to start taking into consideration the condition that some of these buildings are in, and they need to fix the problem. Firefighters let residents back into their apartments to grab anything they needed urgently for the next day or so. Many aren't sure when they'll be able to come back again. This could have been avoided if all these problems were fixed. And it's the holidays, you know, nobody wants to be homeless. You want to be at home, in your home, celebrating with your family. And right now, I can't do that. You really got a feel for the families and residents that live in this apartment building because right now, a lot of them, they don't have a place to stay tonight. It is cold. It is rainy. Um, thankfully, the Red Cross is out here. They've got food, clothing, and yes, they're even providing people with a temporary place to stay. Uh, hopefully, guys, this place will be back open in time for Christmas. But right now, we just don't know.